All right. All right, guys. So let's continue. Okay, I have a little review for you guys here. Okay. Let's see. Let me pull first. I have clerk. All right. Clerk number one, guys. All right. Let me pull your record. Okay. All right. Now, this word record. It has two meaning, okay? Uh, it actually depends on the context of the uh, uh, sentence, okay? Now, in this sentence here, let me pull your record, okay? Now, here, the record is acting as a noun, okay? Now, di kalimat ini, record, recordnya ini adalah sebuah kata benda, ya? Sebuah kata benda uh, yang artinya adalah uh, catatan, catatan medis ya. Uh, Oke, okay, uh, let me pull your record. Saya cari catatan medis kamu du uh, Anda dulu ya. Oke, okay, sementara itu silakan uh, catat namanya dan du uh, silakan duduk. Oke, okay. so record here. Oke, okay. record. Oke, okay. and then another record also if you're doing in the sentence also can be act as a verb. Okay. Uh, she, she is recording the Zoom meeting. Okay. Now, record and record. Okay. The same, uh, per, uh, the same uh, spelling, but uh, the pronunciation a little bit different. Okay. Let me pull your record. She is recording the Zoom meeting. Okay, so it's not like she is recording. Okay, record. Okay, I may pull your re record. Okay, recording. Okay, let me pull your record. Okay, itu untuk kata benda ya. Kalau untuk uh, sebagai yang berfungsi sebagai kata kerja, verb, dan juga she is recording. Okay, so record and record. Okay, so pay attention to that. So that's really uh, easy when what how to determine whether it's a, a a verb or a noun. Once that word, the word record or recording is uh, followed, if the subjects followed by that word, then that is going to be verb. Jadi kalau kata record ini di depannya itu atau mengikuti sebuah uh, kata subjek ya either he she it they or those pronoun ya itu adalah sebuah kemungkinan besar adalah sebuah kata ben, kata kerja sehingga pronunciation-nya akan berbeda ya. Uh, she is recording, oke. Okay? Uh, pull your record, the criminal record. Okay, uh, medical record. Okay, recording record. Okay, so you guys gonna pronounce it a little bit different. Okay, just pay attention. Once you already uh, get used to that, you're gonna remember automatically. Okay, now that's really rare though in uh, English that when you have the same. Uh, Spelling different pronunciation. Okay. okay. Next, I have now Laura's number three. Laura's number three. Okay. Pay attention to this, guys. All right. This word. Headaches. Headaches. And occasionally, I have had really bad headaches. Headaches. And an upset. And an upset, upset stomach, stomach, stomach. Okay, so there is no like a stomachs, no stomach, stomach, stomach. Okay, now try to uh, practice that going to the uh, uh, what is that the uh, uh, Google Google translation I believe here. Yes, uh, Google pronunciation. Okay. Stomach, headaches, headaches. Okay, next I have also the same for Laura number four. Pay attention to the word headaches, headaches, okay, headaches. 
Next, I have uh, Laura's number six. I am taking a multivitamin tablets, tablets, tablets. Here could be the tablets for the, 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 the pills, the pills for the medicine, also the tablets for the, the tablets, the iPad, okay, tablets, okay, same thing, I guess, okay. All right, next I have uh, nurse number seven, Le nurse seven, that's a, uh, pay attention to the word, temperature, temperature. Everything is good, normal blood pressure and no high blood temperature, uh, no high temperature, 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 okay. Uh, next I'll have doctor, doctor number two. All right, this, pay attention to words. Okay, remember, 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 okay, I always, uh remind you guys okay to remind yourself okay when we have the um plurals here look two months ago two months with the s plural okay karena ini uh, uh, plural juga kar jam bentuk jamak juga karena uh, jumlah bulannya itu lebih dari satu oke okay? uh, if you say one month then no s oke okay? since this is using two months three months oke okay, with the s oke okay? so the s has to be clearly said clearly pronounced oke okay? that's gonna be hard s oke okay? for uh, the plurals okay make sure that uh, the s is hard s next also on the doctor number two i uh, have you also have had an upset stomach and a persistent persistent okay a persistent cough okay the word persistent pay attention persistent okay uh next i uh, will go to uh doctors number nine doctors number nine very long sentence okay da. now let's see pneumonia pneumonia okay the p is silent p it looks like you have pneumonia Okay, then we have stress. Okay, the stress instead of stress, and the stress causes headaches, and the stress causes headaches. Look, causes with the S, headaches with the S also. Okay, I know oh, stress causes headaches. Okay, and then we'll have the pneumonia already. Okay, doctor number 10. It's pretty good for that uh, long dialogue and the long sentences. Only miss that stress test and pneumonia. Okay, very good. Let's see, doctor number ten. Stop by laboratory. Stop by the laboratory. 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 Okay. Jadi, uh, diucapkannya lebih cepat karena uh, ada huruf antara R laboratory antara R and T it's like um a little bit twisted like that sounds like that okay so let me see if I can say it slowly laboratory 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 stop by the laboratory stop by the laboratory on your way out okay laboratory so the O is silent. Instead of laboratory, it's a laboratory. Okay. Laboratory. And next, I have a doctor's number 11. Doctor's number 11. That's going to be the word that pay attention is available. The results will be available in two weeks. Available. Available available okay other than that perfect guys well 
Let's continue with our uh, comprehension test, guys. We finish all this um, idioms, all these uh, specific sentences, okay, on the expression. Okay, hopefully you guys uh, have a better understanding on that and then you may use it in the daily life. All right, question and answers done also. Okay, let's do the comprehension test, okay? To see how much you understand that conversation above. What time is Laura's appointment with the doctor? Jam berapa? Uh, jam berapa? Uh, okay. Jam berapa Laura harus bertemu dengan uh, jam berapa uh, uh, Laura harus bertemu dengan dokter? Okay. Appointment. Okay. Appointment. Jam berapa? Janji uh, reservasi reservasi uh, reservasinya Laura untuk bertemu dengan dokter. Okay. Appointment is similar, is like the uh, like reservation like that. Okay, reservation is almost more likely like a place something like that, huh? Instead of the with the somebody. Well, jam berapa? Uh, uh, Laura ber, uh, harus bertemu dengan dokter ya. Intinya begitu ya kalau di bahasa Indonesia ya. Okay, let's see. Who wants to try to uh, answer? Let's see. Let's give to the one that okay. Everybody already had their time on that. Um, okay. Let's see. Miss Wu, Miss Lily. Okay, I'll have Miss Lily try to answer number one. There you go. All right, Miss. I miss Laura appointment with the doctor. She has appointment with the doctor at. 8.30. She has. All right. Actually, look at this. Okay. Yes, you might be you able to say she has. Okay, let's see. Let me write it so you can see the difference. Okay. She has an appointment. With the doctor. With the doctor. At. 8.30. At 8.30. All right. Now, let's see. Now, look at this. What? Let's go to the question, okay? What time is Laura's appointment with the doctor? Okay, so right here we see the, uh, the word. Now, uh, the word Laura's appointment. Now we're gonna change that to the pronouns instead of like repeating, okay, Laura's appointment, okay, blah, blah, blah. And then you can use, instead of that, you can use the pronoun of the belonging, like a possession like that. Her, okay, her appointment, like that. Or oh, yes, you, you can answer like the way Miss Lily uh, answer. She has an appointment with the doctor at 8.30. Okay, another way that you can uh, recap from the uh, question is her, yep. because it's showing the uh, position. Oh, okay, this is all caps here. Okay, her appointment. Is okay, uh, you, you can answer with the doctor, okay. Right. But uh, if it's in a conversation, you don't need, okay, because if the question is already stated, okay, the appointment with the doctor, okay, so you you can answer like, her appointment is at, at. short way, yes, that like that, on, okay, is at 8. 8.30, all right, like that, okay, perfect, thank you, Miss Lily. You are welcome, Miss. 
Okay, perfect. See, Miss Lily already using she has. Okay, that's present tense. Okay, so she has a good understanding of using that uh, tenses accordingly with the uh, subject there. Okay, very good. Okay, that's the tenses that we're actually we're going to use for this. Uh, we're going to learn in this chapter. All right, let's go to number two. Where does the physical checkup take place? Where does the physical checkup take place? Okay. Di mana uh, pemeriksaan fisik akan dilakukan? Okay, let me see. Okay. I'll give a chance to era. Era, would you like to try number two? The physical checkup take place mm -hmm. at the room. Do you have the um? Okay, you want to try? Okay. Do you have the place book or do you need it to at the room A? To, room A. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So uh, let's repeat your answer, please. The Okay, look, where does the physical checkup take place? Okay, this here. Okay, actually, this word, okay, I'm not able to block it. Okay, now you can use the pronoun. Uh, excuse me, go ahead. Can I just say it takes place? Yes, there you go. Perfect. Hold on, okay. It takes takes place place in in room A. Room A, very good. Okay, so guys, era is using the pronoun it here instead of the physical checkup. Okay, that's the subject, right? The subject of that question here. Uh, the the uh, question the, the subject of the question is the physical checkup. So she uh, she use pronoun it instead of that. Okay. Jadi di kalimat uh, pertanyaannya uh, ini subjeknya adalah the physical checkup. Kemudian era uh, menggunakan kata ganti untuk uh, subjek tersebut menjadi it. Okay. Since this is using the tense of does here, you know, guys, when the question using does or do, that's going to be the present tense. So see, use the present tense here, it with the uh, it using the fur plus s. Okay, very good, Era. Okay, next, let's go to the C. Why does Laura want to see Dr. Clark? Okay, mengapa Laura mau bertemu dengan Dr. Clark? Okay, let's have Miss Fanny. Miss Fanny. Why does Laura want to see Dr. Clark? Mengapa Laura mau bertemu dokter? She wants to see the doctor yes. because she feeling tired. And headaches. Headaches. And an upset stomach. Headaches. Okay. Let's try uh, pronounce. Headaches. Headaches. No, it's uh, the the headaches. Headaches. Uh, okay, now the X, it's like um how do I explain that? Okay. Headaches. 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 Oh, there you go. You got it. Headaches. Headaches. 
no, not that headaches, 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 headaches. Yes, there, headaches. So it's headaches. head and eggs, right? So when you combine like that, then you would pronounce it headaches. So the T, the D is really like a uh, soft like that, okay? Headaches, headaches, headaches. 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 Uh, the first one. Okay. Headaches. 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 Yes, there. Okay. That's what the headaches. Keep on trying that. And the other one, the other one is you say um stomach. 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 No stomach. X. No X on the back. Okay. Stomach. 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 Yes. Stomach. 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 No eggs. There's still like S. Sounds like S on the back. Stomach. 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 Yes. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back to your answer. C. She wants to. She see. wants to see Dr. Clark because. Yes. Because she feels tired and she has been an upset stomach. Stomach, stomach. She has been feeling feeling tired. Tired. Head, headaches and stomach. Having headaches. Headaches, headaches, and, okay, here upset stomach, and headaches and upset stomach. Is that it? Itu aja ya. Yes. All right. Yes. I also agree with Miss Fanny. Okay, guys, very good. Okay, thank you, Miss Fanny. Keep on trying and then uh, practicing the word stomach headaches. Stomach headaches, okay? Headache. Yes, there. Uh, that's one, okay? But this is plural. Okay, headaches with the S. Headaches. 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 Yes, okay. And then stomach, stomach, stomach. Stomach, stomach. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Thank you. Next. Let's continue with number D. When did Laura start feeling bad? When did Laura start feeling bad? Uh, sejak kapan Laura merasa tidak, uh, tidak, tidak enak badan ya? Kira-kira seperti itu ya. Let's see, number D. Okay, I'll have the answer of number D right here. Since no more space there. All right. Who wants to try? Okay, I'll have Nalita. Yes, miss. All right, number D, please. When did Laura start feeling bad? Laura started feeling bad two months ago. Two months ago, yes, very good. So, she started, okay. We use the pronoun instead. Yes, okay, she started yes. feeling bad since two. Oh, since two months ago. Yeah, okay. Sejak dua bulan yang lalu, since two. Eh. Okay, two months. Oops, 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 oops. Months ago. All right. Yes, so thank you, Miss. When did? Yes, okay, very good. Thank you, Nalita. Thank you, Next, number D. What kinds of medication is she taking? Okay, uh, obat-obatan apa yang dia minum? Okay. I'll have Nani. What kinds of medication is she taking? Mm -hmm. 
dia minum obat-obatan apa nih? Do you need the conversation? Si Nah, okay. Look at nurse number four. What are you uh, are you taking any medication? And then answer Laura. Only my vitamins. What kind of vitamins are you taking? I'm taking more vitamins tablets and extra vitamin C every day. All right. You see it, Nani? Yes. Okay, got it. The answer. All right, let's go back to our uh, our question. Oops. Number E. All right, so what's she taking? She mm, is she's taking. She's taking a multivitamin, right? Multi vitamin tablets and dia minumnya ini ya kak ya di conversation yang nomor let's see let me go back right here multi multi vitamin tablet and extra uh, vitamin and vitamin C. extra vitamin C right so multi vitamin and extra vitamin C so she's taking that okay Okay, let me pull that. So she's taking a multivitamin and a vitamin C. Okay, vitamin C. So my my uh, it might that the um she's taking a vitamin C beside the multivitamin. Uh, maybe the tablet, the multivitamin doesn't consist enough uh, vitamin C. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you, Dani. Thank you. You're welcome. Next, number uh, seven. How are Laura's vital signs? Bagaimana hasil uh, uh, apa ya itu? pemeriksaan vital? Bagaimana hasil uh, pemeriksaan vitalnya Laura ya? All right, let's have Jean. Jean answer number F. Uh, wait a minute. Sure. Um, wait. So, how are Laura's vital signs? Okay. Um. She, um, her her the signs are are normal um normal blood pressure and no and without high temperature okay it, right yeah okay let me write it our vital signs are not um, are, normal, are normal are normal normal blood pressure and no high temperature okay Second, let me see the let's see what it says. Yeah, show bottles and the result. Oh, like this. Let's just what gonna say. Her final signs are good, okay? Are uh, good, okay? And then you explain, okay. And then you're gonna explain uh her temperature. Uh, what is the uh, her? Oops. Her blood pressure and and temperatures. Blood, uh huh. And heart. Uh, okay. Pressure. And pressure and temperature are I'm normal. Yes. There you go. Then you explain how, how, what is good meaning here. Okay. 
And you're gonna okay. use normal at the end. Okay, okay, miss. All right. Thank you, Jane. You're welcome, miss. Okay. So now it says here, uh, vital signs usually consist of the information of the uh, blood pressure and then uh temperature. Okay. So first you're gonna say first, uh it's a uh, you're gonna explain first, okay. Oh, it, uh the vital signs are good, okay, and then uh, what's good to you, okay? Now, then, then there's going to be an extra explanation. Her blood pressure and temperature are normal, okay? I mean, it's R here, are normal, okay? Next, let's go to G. What kind of information is Dr. Clark trying to get from Laura? Jadi, informasi apa nih yang, uh, yang, yang, yang dipertanyakan yang di, diperlukan yang diperlukan oleh ya oleh Dr. Clark kind of information oh, oke okay. let's see who wants to try I have Miss Lily, okay. What kind of information is Dr. Clark trying to get from Laura? Laura. 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 Okay. Let's see. Uh, um, jadi informasi apa yang kira-kira di yang sedang di di dikorek-korek di itulah ceritanya yang dikorek-korek oleh Dr. Clark is trying to get okay he says trying to get as in bahasa tuh kira-kira begitu yang sedang yang sedang dikorek-korek dari Laura okay jadi uh, ini let's go back here so it depends it, uh, it we can see it from the uh, questions that he asked her okay let's see let's see the first question from doctor okay before that no doctor all right there you go about her diet or her diet. weight lately diet and Uh, berat badan the weight huh? the weight uh -huh. okay any changes on uh, in your diet or your weight okay and It's then uh, mm -hmm. did you suffer from insomnia insomnia uh, you smoke drink okay that's the information that he's trying to get it and okay How are things at work? Okay, that's a question from the doctor. Okay, that's what he tried to get your information by asking the question. All right, so let's go back to our uh, question. Okay, there you go. So, let's see, Gee, what kind of information Dr. Kraft trying to get from Laura? He tries. Huh? He tries uh -huh. to okay. Or oh, here, actually, here we is it's using a uh, present progressive tense is trying, right? So we're just gonna use that instead. Yes, you see okay. it. Yes. She, so he, she is trying. She to, is trying to, to get to get information about information about. Uh, oh. Changes in changes. diet or her weight changes of lately changes of diet about insomnia. Okay, changes about her diet. Okay, second or or her weight. Okay, changes about her diet or weight. Weight lately. Okay. Uh, and 
Uh, Neither lately. Lately itu artinya belak, uh, belakangan ini. ini. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What else is is asking about the uh, her sleeping, right? The ins oh. Do you have insomnia? Yeah. Yes. That's yes. her. Uh, and then about her diet, her. weight, sleeping. sleeping. Her sleeping. Uh, sleeping what? Uh, sleeping. Uh, habits probably. Uh, sleeping. Uh, habits because uh she has she she woke up all the time like that in the middle of the night like that that's the habits okay what else uh smoke, what else smoke drinking. and drink ah yes first uh sleeping habits drinking drinking and smoking uh-huh drinking and smoking anything else and about her her work huh yeah yes. okay also okay second okay, okay. besides smoking also so about, about her, work. her work yes her work her work yes okay so he's trying to get information about changes of her diet or weight sleeping habits drinking or drinking and smoking also about her work okay very good miss lily Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Jadi uh, pertanyaannya apakah yang informasi yang di uh, yang ber, yang yang Dr. Clark itu berusaha uh, cari dari Laura? Ap, ber, ber, kalau dalam bahasa sehari-harinya apa sih informasi yang Dr. Clark itu ber, uh, ini, ini korek dari Laura ya? Itu kita bisa dapatkan dari pertanyaan yang dilanturkan oleh Dr. Clark kepada Clara, yaitu dia. Uh, tentang ada perubahan apakah ada perubahan dari cara makan dia atau berat badan kemudian kebiasaan tidurnya kemudian apa dia punya kebiasaan minum alkohol atau merokok dan juga perubahan apa tentang pekerjaannya juga oke jadi informasi tentang pekerjaannya juga ditanyakan oleh dokter alright guys very good Okay, so let's uh, G, okay? Okay, so we'll stop until G. Time is already showing 8.02, okay? So we're going to uh, finish the rest of it. And then also, uh, hopefully, we have enough time for do the discussion, okay? We only have like three numbers of, uh, four numbers of discussion, okay? We can have it uh, next week, okay, guys? All right, so uh, let's end the class for tonight. I'll see you guys next week, okay? Okay, thank you for joining the class, guys. Okay, thank I'll you. see you next thank week. Thank you, Miss Susan. Miss Susan. Yeah, see you, you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.